Look, Heather, the truth is, I don't care if we never take it to the next level physically. I just really like spending time with you. <laughs> wow, I am going to have to write to somebody about this. Good morning, everybody. I think Heather will be eating breakfast standing up this morning, if you know what I mean. This is all your fault. You never listen to anything I say. Look, you told me to talk to him. I talked to him. And now you're nagging me about it? God, you're more annoying than a creative voicemail message. Oh, Lois, thank God. Listen, I can't decide what I want for breakfast tomorrow. Can you make me a sample tray? You know what, Peter? I'm not talking to you right now. You screwed up bad with Chris, and you still haven't apologized for the way you treated me earlier. Oh, come on, Lois. I'll make it up to you. Maybe sooner than you know. Oh, good. The flowers came. We're just cocooning today because Heather said she's never seen TV, so we're starting with season six of Becker. I'm just going to be easing her in. Heather, I made your favorite cookies, and now I want to hear all about your day. Oh, my God. Chris treats that pile of junk better than Peter treats me. Oh, hi, Chris. Where have you been? Heather and I went for a tandem bike ride and then had lunch at a gastropube. Nope. Huh. Sounds like fun. Uh, tomorrow, Heather and I are going to the park to picnic and fly kites. And on Saturday, she's hosting her book club, so I have to drop by, say something funny, and then stay upstairs. Chris, when you go on your picnic tomorrow, can your father and I come with you? Uh, let me just ask Heather. I know, but I think we better. Oh, apparently the cancer is already in his bones. What? We'd love to. Sounds great. Sure about this? It seems pretty extreme. Well, I gotta try something. Peter and I used to be so close, but now we're like apples and oranges. People say we're different, but we're really not that different. Wow, it sure is fun going on a picnic, isn't it, Peter? Yeah. Will you hold this beer bottle while I try to kick the top off it? on my head. And just like the guy's feet are too big for his bed Because I'm free Nothing's worrying Close your eyes, Heather. I've got a surprise for you. None of your business how much it was. Peter? Hey, can me and Ramon go ride shirtless bikes? <sighs> Mom, Heather's disappeared. Have you seen her? Hey, this could be a sign that it's time to move on. Oh, and I just helped him pick out that scarf. We miss her so much. I know, honey, but if you give it a little time, I'm sure you'll get over her. <laughs> hey, Chris. I see you're sad and also sitting on the remote. I've never felt this sad. Oh, looks like somebody could use a hug. <laughs> this day has hog and dogs written all over it. <laughs> Boy, he's really upset. Ugh, I can't deal with anything until I've had my after nap coffee. Hey, Chris. I see you turned your hat around so you can really get in there. Oh, well, what do you care? What does anybody care? <laughs> Heather! Oh, my God! And I know she'll make you very happy, too. You know, I don't think I need Heather anymore. I guess there's just one thing left to do. What's that? Give me that knife. I gotta cut out the baby. Oh, my God. It's made of Skittles. You want to eat the baby together on the way home? You know, Lois, I've been thinking about what you said, and I did learn a little something from watching Chris and Heather. You did? Yeah. From now on, I am going to be treating you like garbage. Mom, Dad, I want you to meet my new girlfriend. This is Mistress Vita. We met on Craigslist. No talking unless I say. Peter, I are you just trying to take a knee until the end of the show? Peter, that's not gonna work. You can't just... Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker. Some sad news this morning as 38 school children drowned when their... Oh, oh, excuse me. When their school bus hit a patch of ice and drove off a loc... Oh, oh. That could be my favorite thing I ever seen. What is a penguin? Is it some kind of bug? What? You serious? So it is a bug? Hey, you know, that's what we ought to do. We ought to make a viral video. Okay, let's see. 
Now, what are the ingredients to a viral internet video? Cats. Yes, cats, good. Uh, uh, people reacting to watching gross stuff. Oh, yeah, because they're like, ah, that's gross. Because I think we're really going to surprise everyone, like Buster Keaton did in his first talking picture. Here we go. I'm moving through the scene, and I slam the door. Oh, no, I slammed it too hard, and the house is going to squash me. Okay, guys, time to make ourselves a viral internet video. One video I always enjoyed was the one with that girl pooping in the jacuzzi. So let's all get in Joe's hot tub while he does the filming and I do the pooping. Okay. Okay. All right, Peter, get the camera ready. I got a viral internet video that's going to go straight to the top of the charts. Hi, I'm Joe Swanson, and this is 30 Impressions in 30 Seconds. Show me the money. Some of these I'm paraphrasing. Okay, now people really love that viral video of a monkey forcing that sex act on a frog at the zoo. So maybe we can find another frog for something like that. I'm concerned that frog's in more trouble than she realizes. All right, let's check our YouTube channel and see how we're doing. Boy, they just went right after Cleveland, didn't they? Jeez, that word looks even harsher when it's in all caps. Wow, people really seem to hate everything we put on here. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York? Since shine as bright as you, I swear it's true. Yeah, so we're, uh, thinking about selling the house. I can't believe we couldn't come up with a viral video. We'll get you the facts on this bizarre story, but first, this week's viral video, Fat Kid Hustles Through Crosswalk. Oh, well, he's gotta get moving now. Well, that's no surprise. Everyone in my house can get very excited by a good ad campaign. remember none of that. I just remember CBS Outdoor advertising on the bottom and three pigeons sitting on top. You're bad at looking at billboards. That's real pudding in there. What? No, it isn't. They wouldn't put real pudding on a billboard, Peter. Do you have any idea how crippled you sound right now? Peter, it's not real pudding. Look, there's only one way to settle this. I am climbing that billboard to prove it's real pudding. Moisturizer? Sure. Okay. Is this being careful enough, Joe? Okay, all right. <laughs> Peter, are you okay? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. Peter, stay put. I'll call this in and we'll get a crew out here to help you both down. <sighs> all right, but can you hurry it up? I got band practice later. Mikey, you're safe. Thank you so much for finding my boy. Thank you for finding her boy. I'm the stepfather. In recognition of your heroism in helping to rescue little Mikey Nicholson, I'd like to present you with this key to the city. Thank you, Mayor West. You know, some of you out there are calling me a hero. Others are calling me a hoagie. Those of you from Connecticut are calling me a grinder. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I am a man who unintentionally saves kids. Fact is, when I saved that boy, I wasn't thinking. I don't think. I just do. I wanted to see if a billboard had real pudding in it. So I climbed up there and came out a hero. Way to go, Dad. Peter, that thing you said about not thinking and just doing stuff, did you mean that? Sure I did, Joe. I never stopped to think. You know what? You're right. And it's time I do the same thing. Joe, what are you doing? You can't quit your job. Well, that's the other thing, Bonnie. You and I are done, too. What? I'm leaving you. Whoa! New Joe! Hey, Ma, guess where I am? Yeah, can you hear it? Flying through the air. I don't know what he shot at. I guess I'll just have to find out when I land. <laughs> oh, God. What? What? You know what? I think it looks good. You are, you are just trying anything, aren't you? Just searching for an identity, man. And you think this is going to be it, huh? Oh, God, whatever. My God, it's a miracle. You were able to put me back together again. Yeah, it was actually a pretty simple procedure. Maybe next time go straight to a medical professional and skip the horses and illiterate servants. Well, that is the last time I drink and masturbate on top of a high wall. Oh, hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, buddy, how you doing? 
You okay? Everything okay? I'm talking like this because I'm being very careful not to upset you, and for some reason, this is the voice people use to do that. And check this out. It's the gun that no leg sprinter used to kill his girlfriend. Oh, my God! Eh, anyone who's kind of fast gets a free pass from me. I gotta be honest, Joe. We came over here because we were worried about you, but these candies tell me you're doing great. I've never been better. I was living my life all wrong, but not anymore. No more thinking, just living. Eureka! Watch it go! Higher than you, faster than you, better than you! Everyone just stop inventing stuff now, because no one will ever top... Hey, what's with the suitcase? I got a surprise. What would you guys think of a road trip? Oh, yeah, hey, I'm in. Awesome road trip. I love being super pumped for 15 minutes and then bored out of my mind for eight hours. It's great to just stand there and let Mother Nature spray it all over your face. Donna's big fat aunt is in town, so I can definitely go.